there, and welcome to the Kalbawi Informational DVD. You're watching this because you or your child will be visiting Kalbawi soon, and you no doubt have a few questions. So I'm here to answer those questions and give you a little bit more information about the centre and the activities we'll be doing there. I'll be ably assisted in this with my good friend Jack here. Say hello Jack. Without further ado, let's move on to the first and most common question. Where is Kilbowie? The Kilbowie Centre is roughly 100 miles from North Lanarkshire, in Oban. Now, where's that on this map? Eh, uh, oh, no, that's not it, that's Dundee. Eh, uh, ah, there it is, right here. We'll be starting down here, in North Lanarkshire, and travelling up through the hills, the lochs, and the glens, and arriving about two hours later. You'll be taken there and back by luxury coach transfer, no walking is necessary, and the coach and driver are approved by North Lanarkshire and even come fitted with safety belts. That's the coach that is, the, the driver doesn't come fitted with a safety belt, he just uses one. Right, anyway, moving on. Next question. What is Kilbawi? Well, Kilbawi is an outdoor adventure centre that offers fine young citizens like yourself the chance to experience challenges and fun in an environment you may not be fully familiar with. That is to say, real ones, in the real world. Not virtual ones on the Wii Station box thingy. You will be staying at the centre itself in dormitory accommodation, so you'll be sharing a room with your friends. I'm afraid that you will all take part in housekeeping chores to maintain the tidiness of the centre, but don't worry, there isn't that much to do. Meals will be provided by the kitchen staff, including a healthy continental breakfast, a packed lunch, the main evening meal, and even a light supper. Vegetarian and other dietary requirements can be catered to. Okay. Moving on. What will you be doing at Kilbawi? There are many activities that can be enjoyed at Kilbawi. They include climbing and abseiling, canoeing or kayaking, sailing, Gorge walking, skiing, orienteering, mountain biking, ropes course, nightline, and co-steering. Please note, however, that not all activities may be available at all times. You can thank the good Scottish weather for that. Of course, the fun doesn't end with the outdoors, heavens no. There will also be tons of activities going on in the centre in the evening also. As you can see here, there are games and activities for everyone to enjoy. Okay, so now you know where it is, what it is, and what you'll be doing. Let's go on and give you a few pieces of advice about what you should and shouldn't bring to Kilbawi. What you should bring to Kilbawi. You should bring the following items with you when visiting Kilbawi. Swimwear Personal clothing for informal evening wear No, informal wear, Jack Informal That's the opposite of formal You are the opposite of informal Change Aye, that's better Aye Nightwear Two towels One bath sized Some basic toiletries Like your toothbrush Some soap Shampoo Etc Remember to bring any medication that you may require. Changes of underwear and socks. Some old trainers. Indoor shoes or slippers. A drinking water bottle. Some pens, pencils or crayons. Bear in mind that many of the activities are outdoors in wet conditions. Clothes will get worn heavily and muddy. 
bring older clothes for these activities so as not to ruin any new clothes. The following items are optional. Wellington or walking boots. A disposable camera. Remember, don't bring a digital camera as it may get damaged. Some music CDs to share and play in the communal areas at the centre. Sun cream and insect repellent for the summer months. Lip balm. What you shouldn't bring to Kilbawi. The following items shouldn't be brought to Kilbawi. Your own hairdryer or other electrical equipment. These can be a fire hazard. Your mobile phone. Any aerosol sprays. This includes deodorant and hairspray. Again, it's important to bear in mind the activities performed at Kilbawi. Some things may get lost or damaged in the outdoors, so it's best not to bring them. Well, that's our little presentation. We hope you bear all that in mind when preparing for Kilbawi, and we look forward to seeing you very soon. So it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from Jack.